Hey guys, Tech Timmy here. So if you're wondering what the Toshiba Counter Genie Smart Microwave Oven with A-L-E-X-A -E built into it looks like, we're gonna show you in a couple minutes. We're gonna get out of the box. I have my Epic unboxing knife here and I've got, uh, I don't know why I put the blanket on the floor, maybe because I figured it would show up, show up the microwave a little bit better for you, but we got the blanket down, my unboxing knife ready to go. and We're gonna get, get out of the box in just a second here. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got the box flipped over uh, so that it's right side up and ready to open. Um, there are a bunch of stickers on here that say heavy, and it is indeed heavy. Right out of the gate, something that I noticed is it's, it's much larger than my previous microwave, which was the Amazon Basics microwave with A-L-E-X-A -E built, into, built into it. I love my little A-L-E-X-A -E uh, based microwave, but it was, I basically wore it out and I, I, it looks like Looking, last I looked on Amazon, it's either discontinued or out of stock. And I said, nope, I need to, to pick something up now. So I went with this one um, by Toshiba specifically because it does have She Who Shall Not Be Named built in. So let's get it out of the box and take a look. And what I'll say right off the bat is that this is much bigger packaging than I was expecting. So I'm hoping that this fits on my microwave. Um, it's, it seems huge. And it is very heavy, but I wonder if that's because of the tech that, that, that's inside. So we're gonna just get my unboxing knife going here for you. And forgive the huffing and puffing, I just dragged the box over um, from my front door. So, all right, here we go. And I believe what we should have inside here is the microwave itself, of course. Um, I think there's some sort of a glass microwave plate that these typically ship with and some documentation. So shouldn't be too much in terms of the stuff that's in here to unbox. So another piece of tape here. It does seem packaged very well. And there were no ding surprisingly on the outside of this box, which I've had some issues with, with other products recently where it seems like, you know, five out of 10 products that come in the, the box is all smashed up. So I don't know if it's my UPS guy or, or what, but, um, and if you're listening, be more careful out there. What's your UPS? <laughs> so yeah, so exactly like I mentioned, so here is the um, microwave oven instruction manual, um, which looks well done. And I know that Toshiba generally does a good job of documentation. So, um, and indeed, um, if, you are, if you are a member of the channel, and if you're not, what are you waiting for? Um, you know that I get infuriated by tiny, tiny documentation. Um, and this, I'm actually a, a former technical writer. Well, I am a technical writer still by trade, but, um, and you know, the documents do not need to have type that, 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 that is that small. That size would be better, but hey, the instructions are in here. Um, they, they do seem pretty good. I'm just gonna do a quick check in terms of uh, safety instructions, of course, grounding instructions. I do have a, yeah, you wanna um, install this into a, a grounded kitchen plug. Most kitchens will have a grounder plug. It's the one with the little, I think that's called an RFI switch, I believe an on off switch on, on the plug. And anyhow, utensils. So it gives you a list of materials you can use in the oven. That's nice. I was looking for the ALEXA commands. And so there's setup instructions here. So I think for now, we'll just get this out of the box and I'll do a separate video, which I'll link in the description in terms of how to set this up with she who shall not be named. And then also I'll do a rundown of, of the various commands. If it's anything like the Amazon basics microwave I had, so cool. It's the coolest thing to be able to use your voice to, to, to heat up your stuff with the microwave. It really is. It's one of my favorite smart home things. And that, uh, that is not lip service. A little tips card, that's nice. Um, and then a, aha. So here is your ALAXA card with some commands. Um, so it does give you a nice little, a nice little cheat sheet, which, which is awesome. Um, so cool. We'll have some fun with that in a later video. And then I'm just going to remove the glass plate here carefully. So there's the plate and I believe this probably sits under and that this is what allows it to rotate or maybe it's, no, it's under, yeah. Uh, what it allows it to rotate um, because of those, those rotating ones. Um, so that's cool. And then of course, ah, the bane of my existence, styrofoam. You get all those little styrofoam boogies in your car but you can never get rid of them. But here we go, I'm gonna take it out gently. All right, that seemed to come away relatively boogie-free. Okay, goodbye, styrofoam. 
And then, oh, okay, so it's not, it's not massive. If it was the size of the box, I would have been very worried. Um, I have a galley style kitchen, I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's not, I don't have a ton of room for this, but it will go in a corner spot on my, on my counter. So I want to stand up and bend at my knees here and lift it up. Um, so this is actually a fine size and not dramatically bigger, definitely a little bit bigger than my Amazon basics microwave, but perfect size actually for my kitchen. So I'm, I'm, that, that's not an issue whatsoever. And then the back does have a little, it's got a, it's less square than the, the previous one, I think. But I think I'm probably okay to set this on the back. Um, nice big power cord here. Um, and again, you want, I think it's called an RFI. It's the plug that has the on and off switch on it. But where the magic is gonna happen is in the front here. So let's take a look. Um, and yeah, really cool. Um, so I love the stainless steel finish. It definitely has, I think in the Amazon description, it called it, so it has a, a classic look and I, I would absolutely agree. This is gonna go perfectly in my kitchen, um, which I do have some, it's sort of a black, white and stainless steel mix. Um, and then inside here, now of course this is where you're gonna stick your Kung Pao chicken, wow. Um, definitely it seems to be more surface area than the Amazon Basics microwave that I had previously. Um, and then, there are more settings here as well. So it'll give you um, the settings for different types of meals that you want to heat or snacks, popcorn, you have a reheat, potato, weight to frost, power level, temperature. And I think with, with ALA EXA, you can also ask for different commands for different types of things. And there might even be a capability to do some sort of a UPC scan, but I'll, um, I'll look into that more and I'll, I'll, I'll um, leave some additional info in the description if I can find it. Um, but yeah, it looks super nice. Um, and again, for now, this is basically just to get it out of the box. But there's also an echo mode, which I like. I'm growing more and more concerned as electricity goes up that some of my appliances are just eating a ton of electricity, particularly with the smart home. I have a smart um, side table refrigerator, for instance. I have a smart air conditioner. And I'm wondering what the, the power drain is on these things. So in future videos, I'm actually gonna start to, to try and measure some of that out. But this one I was happy to see does have an eco mode. And then, you know, obviously, you know, we've got the traditional cook time. There's a, a way you can set a kitchen timer, which I, I do now with, with you know who, but still pretty cool. And then, um, what does this say here? Start, so I think that might be sort of an oven capability, but I'll look into that also. But for now, I just want to get out of the box and show it to you. It is a beautiful looking microwave. I'm looking forward to getting it set up and working with A-L-E-X-A. And I will absolutely do a configuration video, probably using my Echo Show, which I have in the kitchen, right next that uh, will sit right next to this. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any integration on on the, on the actual display as well. But for now, I just wanted to get it out of the box for you guys. And uh, yeah, if you get any value from this video, if you wouldn't mind just giving me a quick thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. And consider subscribing. I do all sorts of videos about tech like this uh, smart microwave here. And I actually have an ice maker that I'm gonna be unboxing right after this one. Um, if you're interested in checking out an ice maker that will sit on, on, on your countertop, um, that was actually relatively inexpensive. Um, check out, uh, I'll actually include a link in the description from this video to that one as well. But subscribe to my channel if, if, you're, if you're interested in tech. And I hope to see you in the next video.